team started out this season with singular goals to make it to the NCAA tournament. Nick, that business has been taken care of. Now it's time for the madness to begin in today's game between the Howard Bison and the Kansas Jayhawks. This place is rocking and rolling, baby! The Jayhawks should be in for an easy one tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? The keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second of all, give your big men the ball. Let them attack from down low. And lastly, get out on those shooters. Challenge every shot. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. Very soft defensively, no pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Cross court. And up, and he knocked it home. Big time three, man. That opens up the defense when you make that perimeter shot. He's got to move the ball. They'll work it around the arc. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picks off the lazy pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Is that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot. Great block shot. And the ball goes out of bounds. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He'll regroup the offense. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. He's pounding the ball with his back. Where's he going? Dickie's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Thinks about the shot. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Up and inside. And they get the turnover. And back they come the other way. Trying to draw some contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. He uses the shot fake. Looking for a screen on top and got it. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Turnover City that will always really negate any offense. Inside. Tries to turn and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Entry pass in the paint. Drops the bucket despite the harm. And the ball goes out of play. Trying to pack it inside. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Now there's a whistle and a foul. Here he 
comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. He tried a three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. And a momentary look from three-point land. Jumps in. This team right now just lighting it up from everywhere. Hey, they're finding each other in rhythm with their passing, Brad. That makes a huge difference in how shooters shoot. In the paint for the bucket. Oh, yes. Looking for a good shot. High post screen. So effective, that screen. the elbow they feed down to the low block spander is feeling good hey can you blame him Brad? he's getting it done and our trifecta for the night aaron andrews on the sideline with dick vitale i'm brad nestler nice to have you along with us excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps Inside, Bryant receives the ball. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Fed the low block. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dick. I tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Defensively. He's got an open look for the shot. There's the pick. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Working it around the perimeter. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A oh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. The skip pass is picked off. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting the good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd, and look at the reaction. I tell the whole fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Controlling the ball. Hopkins handles the feed. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. On the outside, got some room. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. There's the trap. Perfectly executed. Spacing. The small forward handles the pass. He shoots the jumper off the mark. There's a bad pass right to the defender. Miller receives the pass. Screen was there, but the shot didn't fall. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. They move it into the front court. Goes up for two and off the mark. He's money with the shot. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. That's good. Let's look at it again. They work the perimeter. 
He fires it up. Perfectly designed, perfectly executed, easy basket. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, the leading team down here is very relaxed. I'm down by their bench, and the coaches are reminding them, despite the score, try and remain focused. Remember, it's the first half. Anything can happen, guys. Two at the charity strike. Takes it off, and here they go into the break. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Takes the pass in the paint. And they come with a double team to stop it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's why we have instant replay cameras. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. With the jump hook. I tell you, great shot. And I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Kicks it out. For the bucket, the Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That is on fire. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Makes the shot. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting him for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity, and it really converts an offensive transition. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. There's a double team waiting there. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great re There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Both teams looking to get things going here. Kansas are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Gave it up. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Goes up for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. <laughs> Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. For two. Perfectly executed. How about an instant replay? On the outside. And the ball goes out of bounds. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion, what passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Gliding 
Young in for the jam. Sliding and gliding. Nobody rotated over. The defense moves so slowly. Moving it around the perimeter. Entry pass in the paint. And he scores despite the hack. From the top of the circle, he drills it from beyond the arc. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Boy, terrible execution on offense. the outside working it around the perimeter coach looks on focused a lot of intensity a lot of emotion excellent spacing that's so important in a good offensive set it's even more important than how talented guards that they have yeah that helps He'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of Pat. He gets the rejection. And the ball goes out of play. My goodness, Brad, what a play. That was a great play, Dick. I agree with you. He shouldn't let his emotions get the best of him, though. He better watch out. Up and inside. Got an open look if he wants it. Double team now. Bad angle. He comes away with it. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. The ball goes out of play. it around the arc fakes a jumper makes the move and goes up strong but that's an offensive foul there. he's out of control baby out of control we're gonna move it around the perimeter trying to draw the foul basket falls despite the contact that's absolutely sensational, even the second time. And there's a lazy pass, it's stolen away. Turnover, will it turn into two the other way? Look at that spacing. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Poor decision. He has no business taking that shot. But I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They want shooting the ball. Picks off the pass. Now they work it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Jumped in front to take it away. Puts it up, looking for contact. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. He dials long distance. He buries the shot. The Jayhawks are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He's open if he wants the shot. 
too much. That's a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. And a momentary look from three-point land. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the outside. From right in the circle. Makes it. What's the perimeter? Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Jumps into the defender. He puts it in with contact and all. Goes out of bounds. Fakes the shot. He puts it up. Off the rim and no good. Looking for a good shot. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. There's a high screen. And we've got a whistle and a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul and all oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. <laughs> With the freebie. He makes the first shot. Makes the second shot. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Isolated on the outside, they're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Let's see if they go two for one here, Nick. Takes the pass in the paint. Perfectly executed. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Shot clock is dead. Up and inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Time, the Bison are ahead by five. Best play of that half. Let's take another look. Kansas turned the ball over quite a few times in that first half, Dick. The heads just aren't in the game. Some of the turnovers were unforced and playing silly, if you ask me.
Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? Thanks, Aaron. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. It's stolen. He runs the fast break. He gets it to fall. He takes it away. Nice step in it, man. Take a look right here. Little burst of off in shorts. Little ballerina hanging in the air. He's a jack of all trades. Here's a nice face up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked them and took it to the basket. Got the high pick. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And there's a look at the backcourt comparison. Yeah. Okay, but I always want to know how the primary ball handlers are doing. Are they getting their team's quality shots, good opportunities? The team which takes care of these things usually is in a better position to win a game. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Second call approaching. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Rims out. The point guard with the ball. Run him right at the screen again. What did I say? He shoots from right of the circle. Kansas are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. Great defense. The center gets the pass. There's the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. The power forward takes the pass. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside outside action. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Tries to get the D to bite. They work it back to the outside. He gets the foul off the pro hop. He was going full steam ahead on that move. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Makes it. He makes them both. the perimeter 
shoots it. He's typically a good shooter. Yeah, but not tonight. He's got to accept that. The power forward gets the ball. Perfectly executed. The Bison trail by five. That right there is exactly what they expect from him, Dick. He's what I like to call a surfing turf, a superstar. Only the special ones get to this level. In the paint. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Post flashes. Picked out of the air. And a momentary look from three-point land. Takes the pass in the paint. Scorches the net. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. He intercepts it. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees were aching. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind me because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respects that were saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Does a double. Makes an outstanding block. Kansas have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. Pump fakes. He shoots from left of the circle. Shot was no good, baby. Beautiful use of the screen, though. Trying to come up with a steal, and they do. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. From the top of the key, he drains the bucket. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the deuce. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all in them, sir. He's obviously carrying his team, Brad. His teammates need to follow his lead and join in on the action. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working around the perimeter. Steals the pass. Oh, right, right there. They missed him inside. You gotta get the ball when the guy is open. It's a special work feeding the post. It's good. The power forward takes the feed. Number 32 with the fake. Here's a double team. He strips him clean. They get it out into transition. Tries for two. Easy one. Picks off the lazy pass. He fouled him. 
And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Looking for contact. He raised the play to take that to the basket. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. On the outside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, go in the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Time to pick up the defense here now. Side. In the paint. Tries for two. For the bucket. That was nice. They'll work it around the arc. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. away the pass. Take that screen away. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Nice high post screen. Kick out. Ten on the shot clock. Howard are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Leans in. And he scores despite the hack. I need to see that again, Brad. Get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stolen. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I'll tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. You guys, down here on the sidelines, there is such intensity from both benches. Both coaches are emphasizing shot selection and defensive stops. So important here in the second half. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Gave it up in the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Goes up for two. I'll tell you, a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. 
Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. And the ball goes out of bounds. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. The lay -in. screen basket falls despite the contact look at this mr nestler here's a little something for the opposition that to me is a no-no to the line misses the defensive rebound coming the other way then have got to get out and fill the lanes Brad. Steal. Well, Mr. Vital, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated. And that one's blocked. Gave it up. Inside. Definitely a foul. Well, Dick, what's the front court production looking like to you? Well, you know, Brad, your bigs really can influence how your teams play. Rebound, blocking shots, opening shots are all very important skills which your big players should possess. First one, good. Makes both of them. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. For the deuce. Perfectly executed. Quick plays like that, you need instant replay. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Tries for two. Dick, what can they do to stop their scoring barrage? I don't know, Brad. Give the lights, maybe? I don't know. They're on fire right now. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliated. Poor job defensively. Dick, this crowd will go silly if they can get some points this trip. Brunson first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Pressure that basketball. And the ball goes out of play. Things are going well, and it's going well for the school mascot, too. I tell you, I love those mascots. They put so much enthusiasm and energy in the win. For the bucket. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the outside, has a nice look at the basket. Goes up for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Up fake. Double team now. Bad angle. Take it away.
could come with a double team to stop it. Guns up the deep one. Tickles the twine. The crowd will be on cloud nine if they can put some points up on the board. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And then coming the other way. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here's a nice face-up down in the low block. Oh, he did a great job face-up, and then just attacked him and took it to the basket. They're working around the arc. They're working around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. Off the rim and no good. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. There's the trap. Takes it off him. Looking for a good shot. In the paint for the deuce. Easy one. Six points is the difference. Wow, do they need a basket badly, Brad? Momentum will decide it. And now they'll bring it up. Gave it up. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. He blocks the shot. Timeout, they want to talk it over right here. And with that timeout, we go to the third member of our broadcast team. Aaron? Brad and Dick, with limited time remaining, the coaches will have to figure out their offensive and defensive strategies for the next few possessions. What they will discuss or fail to discuss during this timeout could be the difference, guys. Aaron's right about that. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. It's a three-point deficit. And that can change in a matter of seconds, baby. Hold on. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Intercepted. For the bucket. Finger roll. Look at this effort. Picked off. Well, Digger, it looks like they're going to spend a little bit of time fouling right here. Right, Brad. They have the foul. We're going to stop the clock, Brad. And the clock stopped with a foul. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing, they're getting good shots and they're making them gap. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. Makes the second. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Nick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. Seven points right now is the difference in this one. Hey, Brad, seven points is no safe haven. you got to keep pressing. Goes up for two. They should try for an early foul here. Shot clock is dead. 
Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. At the free throw line. Misses the front end of the one and one. Here's a double team. He goes to the line for the first time. He makes the front end of the one and one. Everything looked good but the result. He gets the bucket. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Looking for a good shot. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Goes in. And the clock stopped with a foul. Brown, I think they'll continue to do so in an attempt to get back to the ball game. They should look to foul the opponent's weakest free throw shooter. He goes to the free throw line. Just like in practice. He sinks them both. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, I tell you, they won this game, Brad, when you look at it and analyze it, because they really had all the right people shoot the ball at the right moment. They did a terrific job offensively. The Jayhawks is off to a strong start with an opening round victory here. Hey, keeping the momentum will be crucial as they have one day off before they head back to the hardwood for their second round game. Brad Nessler saying so long for my partners Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. Thanks for joining us.